Hi everybody, welcome back to Rose Smiling with Art of Lisa. I'm Lisa. I hope everyone is doing well out there. All right, so today we're going to revisit a butterfly that I had put out on my Instagram and Facebook page this week. Um, some of you may have seen it. It's here's a picture of one of them. There are uh, three of them. They were six inches, eight inches, and ten inches, and they're really a lot of fun. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to uh, take a look at them and see one of the wings kind of come to life. All right, let me work you down to my table. All right. So I am in the uh, process of putting this pattern together. In fact, I have a bunch of patterns that I have gotten up on my Etsy site this week, uh, which I'm really quite excited about. Um, so I am working up this pattern, so I thought, thought it'd be kind of neat to actually show uh, this coming along. All right, so this is the eight inch butterfly. Here we go. Let me turn him around this way. All right. So here's my 8 inch butterfly here that I'm going to start. And I'm going to start with this side. As you can see, I've already gotten my pattern situated, and this is a Telemark style. So I'm going to line it up with the wing, the uh, outline of my butterfly here. And I have tape already. Oh, I thought I had tape already. Ah, there we go. All right, so these butterflies I actually found on Etsy uh, on a shop called My Fairy Paint Box. Let me move this over here. Lift this up carefully. Um, I was able to get the blanks from her, and this has worked out great where I have base coated them, sanded the base coated, sanded, and then gone ahead and painted them. All right, so this guy's all ready. I'm going to put my transfer or my yep my transfer paper underneath now I have something called a stylus the stylus is a great tool as a ball at the end of it this is a great way of working on a pattern without without using ink to mess up your pattern that you have because you don't want to ruin it you might want to use it over and over again now as most of you know I do most of my painting freehand, but this pattern is just such a fun and neat pattern to do that I like to replicate it. And because you have matching wings, you want to have the pattern match uh, because, again, you know, it's symmetrical. So having a pattern is much easier to work with. When I do a pattern, let me pull this back this way. When I do transfer a pattern, I don't transfer in the detail lines and uh, the stems because it may not work exactly when you put your brush down. Uh, it might not line up exactly on the top of it. And it's a little hard to get those stem lines or those little detail lines off. So you really just want the basic shape of your flowers to make sure you have your placement. See, there it is coming across. All right, let's work on the bottom half of it here. All right, I already have my palette set up and this butterfly is going to be done in reds and yellows. Just kind of fun to work with. Um, my background color is one that you guys who have been following me uh, will know that I like to use. It's Galaxy Blue, Joe Sonia Galaxy Blue. I use primarily Joe Sonia uh, background colors and paints, acrylic paints. Um, okay, pretty quick, got that situated. All right, we're gonna put this aside. Now I wanna be careful because obviously since I'm working on my pattern packets, I don't wanna destroy this because I need this so that you guys can get it. All right. So if any of you are new, I hope you take a moment to subscribe and I hope you enjoy hanging out with me. And those who are back, welcome. Um, I had hoped and I had mentioned about getting a video out during the week on um, my books that I have and I reference and books that are great for beginners. And I got so into, I actually took the time to clean my, my uh, studio that I didn't get that video done, but 
all the books are lined up to do another video. So I'm hoping to do that tomorrow morning actually and do a special one for you guys. All right, I'm going to start with reds. And I have four different reds on here. And I'm going to use, I've got Brown Matter, Red Earth, and Vermilion. But I'm going to experiment with a new color, Pyrrole Red Orange, Pyrrole, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but that's okay. All right, so let's see here. I'm sure I can get a correction on that. Let's just go. So I want to get my base color down. And I want to bring my colors all the way down to this central little C that I have here. Let's just do this really quick so you know where you're coming. So just like when we work with the flowers and the roots, I want to make sure it starts in one area. Now. I'm not really putting a medium in my brush as of right now. I did wet my brush before I started applying the paint. So we've got a nice big stroke right here and I'm going to bring that right down. Remember I push down on my brush, I pull it up and like that airplane taking off, it goes to a point. All right, I'm switching in between the brown matter and the red earth for my base paint here. And some of these strokes will stay red and some will go into the yellows. But I like to have that base underneath here. And this is a great, you know, since I'm making this into a pattern packet, this is a great way for me to see if the pattern that I'm working with needs to be um, adjusted, played with. You know, you want to make it as easy to follow as possible. And uh, I do kind of go off on a tangent here on my own. Let's see here. Let's pull it this way. Remember, I like to pull my strokes towards me. I'm going to pull that down right there. Remember, I'm following down to my root. So this is my root. And since I am turned this way, I'll go to this side here and say I am following my color photo of what I had done before. So that's kind of helping me kind of stay in the same color vein as I did before. You know, I'm not too worried that it's not exactly the same. And you know, when this pattern comes out and you guys are doing it, remember that what I put out there is, is a suggestion. You can play around with it. You can try different color combinations. This isn't set in stone. You know, you have to experiment and have fun with it. It's just paint. It's fun to play with it. It's okay to make mistakes. That's what we do in life. You learn from your mistakes. And, uh, you know, they're happy little swirls. You don't have to be perfect. Now remember, acrylic paints dry darker than when they first go on. So that's why I'll end up going back on some of these here. Okay, let's pull this around. I should mention that I am using today a number four Joe Sonia Shore Touch 1350 round. Okay, and I'm using the same brush all the way through. I can even do it when I do these little flowers here. So I've got those based in. And I'm okay that I'm not following all the lines directly because I'll be doing extra strokes on top of it. So let's see what other ones do we have here. Flip this back over again. Okay, we do have a little bit of extra red coming this way. Okay, these are going to be some yellow. I'm going to go into a little raw 
raw sienna. I start pulling some yellow down just to start giving it a little variation in the color. I'm going to come back to the red. All right, we're going to come over here. Let's see. Now, because it's still, I laid the paint on, well, I wouldn't say heavily, but heavy enough that it is still wet. So I'm starting to get a little blending here, which is nice. Okay. All right, so my yellows are raw sienna, yellow oxide, and what else did I use? Indian yellow. Okay, these are my three yellows that I have today. All right, so I'm just going to kind of play with them a little bit. Oh, that red was still a little heavy, so we'll just wipe that off a little bit. That's okay. All right, this red is drying a little darker now, so let's pull some more of the red earth. Now I'm going to tip into my vermilion. So I want to start getting that in. I'm going to wipe my brush off a little bit. Dip into my vermilion again. Okay. Move over here a little bit. Let's just pull that down. It's just kind of fun. Lay the brush strokes in there. Again, I'm just making sure that I follow. So I'm following down to that point down in there. All right, let me come back here. Let's add just a straight vermilion. Okay, these are fun. Tip into a little yellow oxide. There we go. Tip into a little bit of that Indian yellow. Okay. Now, I want a little bit more blending on this red over here, so let's do the brown matter. Some red earth. Maybe bring a little bit. I'm going to try that new color, that pyroly red orange. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's blend that in a little. Give that part of the butterfly a little bit of depth. All right, that's coming along. What do we think? Not too bad so far? Not too bad, I like it. All right, I hope everybody's doing well out there. We're all doing well here. Everybody is in school mode or work mode. I'm in mom mode. Now, I was so excited to get this, my studio clean this week. Oh my gosh. I had overtaken, well, some of you who have been around for a while and see my videos know that I end up in the main part of my basement doing some videos there where I'll do prep work. And I ended up spilling all the way out there. Like, way too much stuff. And <laughs> to the point where I was taking over different areas and I'm like, oh, this isn't good. And now I'm really so excited about how my studio looks. Like, I want to come down and really work in it. You ever have a situation where you're just like, Ugh, it's just gotten too loaded up and you don't want to work in your area? But now I have it organized. I know where all my future patterns are. I have a stack of them. I'll have to show them tomorrow when I do my, uh, my little book review. There's so many wonderful rose mulling books out there. Um, not a lot of new ones, though. You know, there there's some, but not a tremendous amount. Um, I'm realizing maybe maybe putting out a beginner stroke work rose mulling workbook or something like that might actually be a, a good thing to do because I have so many people asking me about um, starting, you know, your brush strokes. Um, but I'm definitely going to give some suggestions of books to look for. I've been really fortunate over the years to 
have found a lot of books, inherited a lot of books, purchased a lot of books. Um, I can't even tell you how much I've spent over the years or the gifts I've gotten. Uh, I have repeats too of books. There's nothing wrong with repeats. So I'll kind of talk about the different artists that have some books out there. Oh, what do you think? It's nice and vibrant. This is a fun one. I like doing this one. All right. Okay. We need some more yellow coming off the back. Let's just pull these strokes down. I like that faded out look. Uh, part of the reason why I don't always like to use patterns, you know, is because I like a transparent look when I do a telemark style, and I don't always feel like I can hide the um, the strokes underneath. So I'll have to show about getting those off later on. All right, so this has a good base to it. Let's wipe this out. Now I'm gonna use the same brush simply because I'm lazy today. And uh, I'm going to get in some of my brush strokes for my little flowers. Now, because I have some nice brush control here, I can just get my little C, little S, right? Tip in, little S. So, have you guys been trying new things while you've been home? Have you? picked up a brush and given it a try, been out exercising, trying new things. I uh, yesterday ran a 5k with my son, never thought I would ever run a 5k ever again. Uh, but soccer training does amazing things as I hear him upstairs on the Xbox. Meanwhile, he's got to get out and get some more soccer training done today. So we'll get him out there kids are all enjoying catching up on different movies, different books. We're all enjoying some extra reading. Okay, let's see here. Actually, I the nice thing, and I'll go back to my rose bombing books, it's been really nice to pull them out and revisit stuff. And uh, I really draw a lot of inspiration from things, but sometimes you forget. It's really good to look back at the old stuff. All right. I'm not too worried. I'm kind of out of the lines there. I'll fix that later. All right, let's give some red. Now I try to make it so that you don't have, like, notice here I didn't make this a red flower because I don't want to want to have red and red next to each other. It just doesn't look good. So the make sure the yellow red here because this is a brighter red, that vermilion. I'm okay with that. Let's see. Draw some lines this way. Let's bring it this way. Okay, there we go. A little heavier. Ah, that was a little heavier than I wanted. That's okay. You can use, I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I can come back. Just tip. Okay, there we go. All right, now I got this guy up here. I do have a little bit of warm white that I'm using. Also, just to give a little variety, I'll make sure and put a little burnt sienna in there. Not burnt sienna, raw sienna. Okay, I'll come around this way. All right. Oh, I like that. Let's see. Now, because I used a little warm white back there, let's go this way. There we go. Add a little touch there. So now I want to bring some of that warm white back into the main part of my butterfly here because you want to spread those different colors out, add some different highlights to it. Here we go. Let's put one there, here. Now again, I haven't switched my brush around. I'm just being a little finer on my my touch on it. Okay, little tip in there. We'll come up here. 
pull this down. You see how I'm pulling it? It would just keep on going in that direction. Let's see. Now I want this to be a stronger yellow that's holding this wing of the butterfly. There we go. Oh, I like that. Let's bring some more brighter yellow up here. This is a nice happy butterfly. I have a I love butterflies. I always think it's my my grandmother coming back to visit. My grandmother to Torbjork, Toby, who was a rose mauler. My grandmother could do anything. She was amazing. She literally could do anything. So uh, when she passed away, we saw butterflies everywhere. And I swear to this day, we see butterflies everywhere. All right. So butterflies are very near and dear to my heart. Let's add a little. Let's pull some yellow lines down there. Let's match up here. Now I'm okay with those matching simply because I've got a break in there. All right. Okay. Well, here you go. Here's one side of our butterfly. I'll work on the matching side and I will make sure and come back to do the lines, the detail next time. Everybody have a wonderful day out there. Thank you for spending some time with me. God bless and remember it's just paint.